hi everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i hope everyone's doing amazing and that you're excited to see some bags and shoes because today we have got a zara bags and shoe haul i've never done a haul just dedicated to bags and shoes from zara but they do have some lovely lovely bits and i thought that that would be a great video so you guys in a deal get comfy get cozy get your snacks get your cup of tea or nice hot drink open up your tab and let's get right into it so i'm actually just going to dive straight into it and they always come in these lovely bags first up we have got a bag that's been around for quite some time at zara and it's this designer duo bag it's a suede bag it is really really gorgeous it's sturdy it has gorgeous detailing and if you ask me i think it's a perfect size now i had no idea but apparently it comes with two straps okay so you can either choose this i don't know sporty casual vibe or you could wear the matching suede strap as well now it is actual suede so obviously is not to recommend if you live somewhere where there's tough weather uh, you would have to take care of this one it does look like it has got like one of these like i don't know dipping down which is a clasp on the inside it comes with a really really small pocket i don't think you can see that but i can barely dip my hand into it and then on the like the actual bag space is quite roomy i think it definitely will hold a lot of items like just a little mini makeup bag your keys wallet maybe even a little mini camera if going around town bringing your vlogging camera there's room for a lot in there but yeah i think it's gorgeous uh obviously it is suede so you need to take care of it it is difficult to have suede but this is it and i just i love that detailing on the buckle so gorgeous i think this one is great value for money it is 49.95 and it's a real suede bag it's gorgeous it has gorgeous detailing but it is more of a spring summer bag of course because suede isn't the best with harsh weather so you would have to uh, take care of it use some sprays on it to protect it from water and like salt and all that next up we have a mini bag that comes together with a mini bag uh, how cute is this okay this is so so cute not so practical though because i don't i mean i guess that this one is more to wear it like a belt i guess uh and it's just a cute little wallet i think there's really nothing in it okay so the mini bag it looks like a really really mini bag like it's just like a wallet i don't know really what you would keep in there i guess you could keep your card holder if you want to use just that one as for the bag itself it comes with this really really long strap it is adjustable but not too much and then a more cute short little gold chain handle i think this is really really gorgeous but it would be i think i would remove this little mini bag uh or like wallet that comes with it maybe even remove the chain because it might be a little bit too much and just wear it as it is so the inside is quite roomy um but it is a small bag so bear that in mind the handles are not i don't think this is going to hold up quite well actually if i'm going to be honest so this is definitely one of those really really cheap bags that's just going to last you for i mean if you're lucky a few months but probably just a few weeks this one retails for around 30 pounds i paid 359 swedish kronos for it and i do not think it's worth it so yeah i think it looks cheap it feels cheap and yeah it is what it is <laughs> next up we have got a bigger bag more like an office bag you could easily pop documents into here but it's just as cheap as it looks cheap so i think this run retails for like 20 pounds or maybe 79.99 even and it is a cheap faux leather it only closes with a clasp so if security is a big thing for you then this is not the bag for you it looks very very cheap and i don't think that's going to last for very long um but i like the idea of it and like the design these detailing like it's so so gorgeous if this one would have been in real leather or suede like the first bag this one would have been gorgeous so it looks actually quite nice on the website and they've managed to make it look quite you know good sturdy as a good everyday office bag as you can see the reality is not the best i would stay away from this one if i were you i also think that it's gonna get marks quite easily because it came 
I don't think you, you can see this and I'm being a perfectionist but I just want to give you like a really good view of what some of these bags that I've picked out for you guys look like in real life so yeah these one this bag would definitely get chipped easily then we have the new version of the old mini CD bag that Zara has been doing for years this oh, this version is actually brand new for this season and yeah so many gorgeous upgraded details and i'm going to be going even deeper into all the like pros and cons from the old versus the new one in a video i might even have it uploaded already if i do i will make sure to link it down below but this one as well as the first raid bag does come with two different straps so you can easily suit which one suit you the best either the more sporty version that's more casual or the golden chain that's a little bit more glamorous and you know you could also alter this bag so that you could wear it for a night out or just every day going i don't know food shopping it also has this gorgeous like little flap bit that you have there i've had the old one for about two or three years soon i absolutely love it i love it so so much and i've been wearing it every single day i believe this one might be even slightly bigger but you'll find out in my video comparing the two so make sure you watch that video to get more dates on this bag then since we're going into autumn i wanted to show you guys an autumn boot and the only one actually that i could find on zara i mean there obviously will be more boots but i found these ones they're quite like a high stiletto heel boot and they're more like a sock boot vibe which i'm not too keen on they look quite great on the model which on zara it always like they always do um having them here they look quite cheap you know cheaply made will be interesting to see how comfy they are but i think a lot of you people will look gorgeous in this one this is just not my vibe i actually like the fact that there's like a velvet matte soft heel that's quite cool yeah it's just a nice basic beige autumn boot so these retail for around 50 pounds which to be honest for this like cheap affordable design i think a little bit too much i think that you could probably do better buys with you know a more elegant and timeless design but like i said i couldn't really find one at the time sorry shoes can be either hit or miss i think sometimes you click something home and it's like it exceeds your expectations it's absolutely gorgeous looks so luxurious and all that and then sometimes it's the opposite and i think in this scenario it actually is the opposite but that is my opinion like you may not feel the same but that's what i think okay so here are the boots on they are just not my style like i said but they definitely are like a sock boot uh but faux leather all the way they're definitely comfy uh and if this is your style i can highly recommend them but just personally for me it's not my thing oh and just a little heads up they're really difficult to get off <laughs> next up we have got an absolutely stunning shoe now it's not the most josephine color ever but they are absolutely gorgeous i do really really love them talking about the <laughs> zara manola blanc rip off whatever you want to call them i think they're absolutely stunning and gorgeous now this green color i don't actually own anything in my wardrobe in this green color and that's why i thought that they would be good and fun to show to you guys they do make these ones in i think a hot pink and a black as well black i thought was a little bit boring um but that could be cute for christmas and new year's and the pink one isn't really me so i really wanted like a light blue one because i do have like a clear sky blue heel in this exact same satin material and i absolutely love them so i absolutely adore these shoes i think they're really affordable for what you get they look like a designer shoe but they're really really affordable i think zara shoes are very really comfortable usually like i mean look at this they're padded and you pay only like 65 quid for them so they're really really good the only thing is that they're not too practical for autumn at least not where i live because i live in sweden but look at how gorgeous they are okay i absolutely love them they're quite comfy you know for what they are and the only thing is a color that i am not maybe like the biggest fan of but yeah i mean it is a gorgeous gorgeous design and mules like they're my favorite type of shoe to wear not the right season for them uh it has gone quite cold here in stockholm the past few weeks but like as for comfort and fit i would definitely recommend i think they're gorgeous 
and they're perfect for like if you want dressed up shoes and like more yeah more fancier shoes but you still don't want to wear a heel i think this is perfect and finally we have got a loafer which is a bit odd and also you know it's a square toe which is something that i do not typically like but um i thought that these ones looked very very just autumnal and i mean look at that gorgeous fabric like look at that that is absolutely gorgeous it is made with real leather detailing which is gorgeous i just love like the design i am a bit worried though that i'm gonna look like a little short tiny man in these which i might actually i might but, but as for the quality i think it's gorgeous it retails for about the same 65 pounds and yeah i think for a nice good office uh loafer i think these are really really good now they are an acquired taste of course it's not gonna fit everyone's taste they can be looking a little bit like duck feet i'm gonna be honest um they can and they probably will on my feet as well uh as for the quality wise i think they're well made and i would recommend them but we're gonna have to see what they feel and look like on okay so here are the loafers on as you can see they're a little bit too duck feet for my taste so i wouldn't recommend these but i'm gonna say that i purchased these ones in a european 37 normally my shoe size is 36 so these are a little bit big as well so i think that if you would size down it could be good if you are a fan of the square toe then go for it they're super comfy like literally i cannot stress how comfy these are like they're so so comfy like i really really like them it's just that the toe that i can't live with okay guys so that was it for my zara bags and shoes haul please let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it would you like me to do one with accessories would you like me to do like another just something categorized haul from h&m or zara just let me know in the comments i'll be happy to do that for you and if you aren't yet subscribed take a moment to consider why you're not if you do enjoy fashion videos and the occasional home video and lifestyle like hit the subscribe button join the fam give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it like i said um if you don't leave a comment just leave a thumbs up so that you know to make more or that you liked it and yeah i will catch you guys next time bye